We have the prince's dream. New emotes, arena, tower skins, and the new skeleton dragons. As well, some balancing juice that we can't talk about in this video. It's an orange juice. Welcome to season 12, where we have the Prince's Dream. At tier 10, you unlock the new tower skin. At tier 20, you unlock one of my favorite emotes by far. <laughs> You've got the pony emote. Oh. I like that. I love the ones that have music because they're so obnoxious. You have the pony emote that's coming out, gonna be in the shop deals. It's probably gonna be 5, 10, 15, 20. I don't have no idea, but that's probably gonna be limited for the next three months. But not as limited as the season pass for season 12. Oh my gosh, look at. He cries so much, the Dark Prince's tears has come out all the way. I love that. This one's gonna be in for challenges. And again, if you do get the season pass, it is one of the best values in the game. If you play this game every day, I cannot recommend it enough. It's. You get the free continues, you have all these limited skins and all that stuff. And if you do get the season pass, make sure to use code OJ. The code expires every seven days. We get a small kickback from all of the gems that you buy, from all the season passes, and from all the packages. Since it does expire every seven days, you could even put it in now if you do plan to get the season pass so that when the season's over and you buy it, you won't forget about it like I did in the last video. Did I at least use code OJ? Frick! Ah! The code expires every seven days. Yeah, I'm not gonna forget that again. It was only the seventh time that I forgot that it expires. <laughs> this is the dev build and everything is subject to change, but oh my gosh. Oh, that is, that is a nice arena. Oh my gosh, the skins and the clouds. Look at this. That princess, she's floating on crowns. And then if you look at the Red King, he's got a he's got a really big crown trophy on top. Oh, and the rainbow coming out of the King Tower from behind. I, this is probably one of my favorite skins. They're so fluffy. It's like cotton candy. On the bottom left, you have the towers. and the bottom right, you have more towers and you have rainbows on there. Oh my gosh. And you have the two Prince jousting sticks. Are they sticks? Are they, they're not spears. On the left side and the right side, and you have mirrors because he's all about vanity. I love this. Oh, you have more ponies on the top left and the top right. That is super cool. I like this arena so much. The color contrast. Top three arenas for me. I like the purple theme. What I don't like is when you scroll and it goes to blue. What, what, why? Look at that. Okay, maybe that's fire. That's fair. But this should be purple. Why? Why does it do that, Supercell? Wow. I know there's a lot of speculation about the balance changes, but we will be covering that tomorrow, so make sure to subscribe for that. I'm going to be using these three different decks so that I think are going to work with the Skeleton Dragon, just so that we can kind of see. Again, these stats are subject to change, so if you have any community feedback on this, Supercell is definitely open to improving this card before it launches. Whenever it comes out, we don't know when, but it will come out eventually. But we're getting early access to this, so everyone can kind of gauge how strong it is. But in my opinion, it's pretty balanced. This is a classic Golem deck with Baby Dragon that I swapped out for, and then for the Lava Hound deck, this is pretty versatile, you see in most Lava decks, maybe not with that Lumberjack, but whatever. You have the Skeleton Dragon instead of the Baby Dragon, that's gonna be super juicy. <laughs> and then for my third deck, I destroyed my opponent with this last video, with the Skeleton Dragons. I replaced Hunter with Skeleton Dragons, but not because it replaces the Hunter, but because it complements the Roll Hogs, they can both split, it complements the Magic Archer because they are all, three of these are Fireballies. That's gonna be super juicy. <laughs> Alright, let's get into the first match. Use Code OJ as my opponent. All right. I'm going to put a golem in the back. He knows what this is. I wish I had Earthquake right now. I literally had Earthquake before I had Lightning and I swapped it out. That's the worst decision of my life. I am willing. Oh, my heck. Double dragons right off the bat. Let's see if we can Lightning them draggy drags. Beautiful. Was it worth it? I don't know. Four Spear Goblins out of that? That is broken. I've lost. I've already lost. I don't like this. Put the healer a little bit back, farther back, so, so that she can heal her runes up. So look at that walking distance. She's gonna start healing up right meow. Right meow. There it is. Freaking heck. Alright. I'm gonna put a Night Witch in the back. And let's see if my golem can protect. Oh my heck, those things are so strong. I don't like it. I need to put down my dragons like right now. Oh my gosh, they're they're fragile but strong. Oh, poison. Okay, we need to We need to arrows that musketeer. It's not double elixir, so I'm playing this deck completely wrong, but I'm still not losing. So we have that going for us. 
I'm just gonna straight lightning that. That's 6 4. 6 4. Well, I don't care anymore. <laughs> Double elixir. Here we go, baby. Night Witch in the back. I haven't even done healer golem yet. All right. Let's go. He's not gonna want to poison the healer just yet. The heck? Did those dragons freak up my mega minion that fast? What in the world? That was not natural. I'm gonna lightning that musketeer just right off the bat because I want that I want that battle healer to tank for everyone. I like to tank for the bats, the night witch, everything going on. Let's let's arrows that. Oh, the bats did a decent amount of damage to that. I'm impressed. Is this where I lose? Oh my gosh. We can't let that skeleton dragon connect to anything. Oh my heck. This is my doom. No. One. No. He's going to poison out. Where did I go wrong with the graveyard? If only I put poison instead of lightning or if I had earthquake, that's exactly what- Well, nobody beats OJ. Except code OJ. We're gonna change it up a bit. I have this Lava Hound deck that I'm pretty comfortable with. We're gonna take out the Lumberjack and we're gonna put in the Mega Minion in there. The only ground we're gonna have is Skarmy because that's how we roll. Uh, maybe I'll take a- mm, I'm gonna do Tombstone instead of Bats because why the frick not? With no regard for strategy, we're just replacing stuff where Baby Dragon belongs and making it better. I love this new arena, it's so nice. I put down the tombstone and he's gonna know immediately that it's Lava Hound. Oh shoot, it's an elixir golem with battle healer and dragons. Yup, that's where the baby dragon would belong. I'm ready to poison your uh... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. That's not fair. Where's your skeleton dragons? I feel robbed. I thought we had a gentleman's agreement on skeleton dragons. I don't I don't I don't need your pity. I'm just going to rush full send the lava hound 1 minute in. It, I don't care it's not double elixir. We're going for it. The elixir golem versus lava hound. Who wins? Probably elixir golem because there's only 3 elixir. And I won't be able to get the elixir back by the time this is over. Oh, shoot. I need Skarmy to get my elixirs. Okay, he used... He used the uh, tornado, so he won't have the tornado to take out all that good stuff. Here we come back. We come back with the elixirs. We're gonna poison that magic archer. Not bad. Impressive. Flying machine connects. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Still on the tower. Okay. Now it is double elixir. Now is my time to shine. If I put it down here, it won't pull from the right side. But that's fine because we're totally expecting him to put it from the back. That's cool. That's cool. We're cool. We're cool. I'm going to do a flying machine in the very back. I'm freaking heckin' ready for you. Oh my heck, there they are. All right, he used the tornadoes. We're good. Send everything in. Poison that up. We're going to we're going to zap that magic archer cuz it's going to get way too much value right now. Oh my gosh, another elixir golem. Defensive elixir golem's not good for him though. Let's hope he doesn't tornado this. My gosh. Skeleton dragons, do your thing. Survive! Oh shoot, that skeleton dragon was supposed to connect to my No! No, those skeleton dragons are so strong on oh, my lava hound. No! Oh no! 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 It's a best of five. We can come back from this. 
Worst case scenario, I lose and I have to use code OJ. That's fine. Freaking heck, I'm just gonna I'm so tilted right now. I'm just gonna rush everything. No regard for strategy. He put down elixir. He put down the golem. He's down so much elixir right now. Oh, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna cycle to my mini P.E.K.K.A. And then I need to get my roll delivery. Oh my god, I forgot to flex the emotes. I like it. Oh my gosh. I just destroy those skeleton dragons by luck. I, oh. Did I say best of five? I say winner takes all. <laughs> Every time someone uses, uses that emote, think of me. <laughs> Obnoxious. Just makes that emote even better. Next time you, if you face against me and I use this emote, just picture that I am doing this in real time. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh dear. That Night Witch is trouble. Okay, now we can cry. Oh, I missed it. That would have been so money if I didn't miss it. Fun fact, if you put on the third tile from the tower, all four piglets go towards that tower. Beautiful. Oh, the tornado and the arrows take out my magic archer. Dang. Okay. It's time for overtime where we dance. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm leaking way too much. He's got skeleton dragons. I need to save my things. My roll delivery is the only thing that can take care of skeleton dragons. More mini packas and skeleton dragons. Oh my gosh. The frick took out my skeleton dragons. Look, there's no splash on them. That's obnoxious. We're going full send on this. Taking it all out. Every single bit of it. Take out that executioner mini P.E.K.K.A. Wait for the bats to pass and then there, here we go. Once, once those tank, we put down the skeleton dragons. That is so much damage. Earthquake that. There we go. Winner takes all, OJ, OJ is, is the, the winner. winner. But I'm still gonna use code OJ. I'm the greatest. From this deck, I honestly just played it poorly, but I feel like it just doesn't quite work with Tornado. In the Battle Healer deck, the Tornado worked very well with the Magic Archer, but the Skeleton Dragons, they were only able to splash for one attack worth of waves. After that, everyone would just kind of displace back out into the center. I, I don't know about this. The, the splash radius on this is insanely small. When my opponent's golems connected to the tower and I had five bats on there, it would only target one of the two golemites. It didn't even t touch any of the bats. The, the splash radius is so small. It's basically non-existent. That's where baby dragon would have been able to successfully defend that push and I would not have lost the tower. That's everything for this update minus the balance changes that we will be announcing very soon. But until then, stay tuned for more quality OJ.